It's George Peck from the Ablaze Group. Thought I'd take a couple of minutes and explain the difference between case logic and if-then-else logic in a Tableau calculated field. I am asked quite often in a fundamentals training course, which is the right approach to use and when do I use one over the other? Let's take a look at a calculated field I've done on this very simple visualization here called shipping expense. And if I edit this calculated field, I have a simple requirement of testing a single value in this case, the ship mode database field. And I'm going to test that ship mode database field for a series of eventual eventualities or a series of tests. The word same day, in which case I'm going to return high as my shipping expense. Another when clause, testing for first class, in which case I return medium to the calculated field. And then I have an else, what I call my catch-all, my else clause, which returns low followed by an end. The idea of the case construct is it tests a single value. It could be a database field, another calculated field. It could be a function um, using another database field. But I can't test multiple things. And then I have a series of when clauses where I test for a single occurrence of some value in my case portion. I have potentially many when clauses, in which case the case function is easier to read and easier to maintain. So for a more simple test scenario of a single value with multiple, potentially many when clauses and a catch-all else clause, case structure is preferable because it's very easy to understand and to maintain. If you have a more complex requirement, like I uh, illustrate here in a profit shipping expense effect calculation, you can't use case construct. In this case, in this case, I'm actually testing two different values, profit ratio, which is numeric, max of shipping expense, which is a string, and I'm actually testing them in the same single clause. Case will not permit this. Uh, in this case, if, else, if, else, and is required for a more complex test. In this case, mixing data types, doing less than or greater than tests, also not permitted in the case structure. And in this else if, I even have a numeric less than test and then a compound string test connected with an or. So in these more complex type of test requirements, case will not provide the flexibility I'm making use of here in an if then else if scenario. So again, for simple constructs, single values, case for more complex constructs if then else if else and is required. Hopefully that helps clear that up and I hope you enjoyed the short presentation.